Good evening, welcome to Daily News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 8th of uh, August uh, 2022. Happy, happy, happy uh, Heroes Day, uh, Zimbabwe. Yes, and uh, so uh, President Emerson Mnangagwa has touched a storm after claiming that the 1987 uh, unit accord is a key pillar of national peace and stability and should never be challenged breached or compromised the unit accord was signed by the late former president uh, robert mugabe and late former vice president joshua nkomo at the height of kukurawundi massacres that claimed an estimated uh, 20,000 people in matabeland and midlands provinces between 1982 and 1987 in his weekly column in a state-owned weekly mnangagwa said the heroes day commemorations to be held today followed by the defense forces day set for tuesday revived bitter memories of the liberation struggle all of them encapsulated and embodied in the tomb of the unknown soldier he said while well, there were political disturbances in the early years of the country's independence peace prevailed after the unit accord was signed by mugabe and como bringing together political parties that fought colonialism then pf and pf zapu True, there were disturbances in the early years of our independence, but reason prevailed in the end as our leaders meet, talked, and embraced to give us a legacy of peace and stability we enjoy to this day, which we have a duty to protect, Nangagwa said. This has inked multiple human rights groups who feel that Nangagwa has failed to resolve the Kukura wound issue. Instead of shouting against those who are rightly questioning the value of the unity accord in their lives, you should be focusing on addressing the Kukura wound genocide in which he was a leading perpetrator. The unity accord benefited perpetrators like him and that is why he sees value in it. It brought nothing to victims and survivors, political analyst Efim Mube said. South Africa based academic Nkosilati Ngube said the problem with the unit accord was that ZANU and ZAPU were merged to come up with ZANU PF. The, the second problem is that uh, ZAPU is given a second vice president in the unit accord, which they are united like that. Their headquarters in Harare still has a ZANU Jongwe as a symbol, is still Jongwe offices in Ngube said. He also pointed out that the unity is meaningless when a such heroic figures as Count Mplanga cannot be buried at the Heroes Acre despite their outstanding work. Twaka the public party, President Ngodisi Moyo said, it is all about ZANU, ZANU and ZANU and nothing else, despite the fact that Kukura Wundi was the major issue that led Nkomo to the unit accord. The document does not even detail how they were going to address their emotive issue in terms of the victims. It is just silent, describing the unit accord as useless as long as it does not address the marginalization of Matabeland Moyo added. The unit accord was supposed to ensure that the next president after Mugabe came from Zapu. After removing former Vice President Kembo Muhadi, they should have replaced him with another person from Zapu if Nangagwa really believes in the unit accord and so guys that's the latest here in Jakare kukura and i remember when ed uh, became president in 2018 uh, he promised to solve the kukura Wundi issue uh, by forming the uh, national peace and, Reco and uh, reconciliation commission uh, in uh, prc but uh, by now that commission uh i started to uh, of course but apana chavativa achiever within four years uh, since that uh, commission was established so what was what uh, was the use of having that commission maybe they're doing it uh, behind the scenes no one knows but in reality uh it needs to be resolved and uh, we are tired uh we can move forward and so guys this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince miller entertainment tv remember guys to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here on this channel each and every day each and every hour this is a daily news breaking news everyday news bless up